guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I'm here at Dimmit Land Rover in Clearwater, Florida, and we have our first, another first here on Rady's Rise. We have a 2019 Range Rover Sport HST. So let's talk a little bit about Land Rover. Land Rover is such an iconic British mark, making those SUVs, before they were even called SUVs, all the way back so many decades ago and now with their Range Rover lineup. The first time that a Range Rover ever existed was 1970. That first generation Range Rover went from 1970 all the way to 1994. Fast forward to the 21st century, the Range Rover has really come into its own, has a lot of great features and you'll see underneath this hood there are some surprises with a straight six with some hybrid electric motor technology in there that's going to help ramp things up. But let's go ahead and dive into this 2019 Range Rover Sport HST. This is all new for 2019. Love what uh, the Range Rover, I love how the Range Rover has these headlight housings. Very unique. You know, we tend to forget about the British brands. Uh, we're always going German, but very, very uh, futuristic. LED, the daytime running lamps, everything just very, you know, stand out when it comes to style. As we come down, you'll see full functional venting, both up front and side air curtains as well. And then look at these very slim lights that they have in the bottom portion here. Really nice. As we go across the grill area, I like the way it says Range Rover. My problem is, just like many other SUVs that we've had on Radies Rides, I don't like the emblems. I wish that these were sunken into the hood. Gloss black, there's that famous Land Rover badge. So much history, so much tradition in that British green. That's what that power is all about, is British green. And then as we come down, more gloss finish here. I think I would like to see a little bit different material because I think that over time, this is gonna not wear the greatest, but right now, brand new, it looks great. Of course, this character line that goes from one side to the other, very nicely placed. As we come across the front, just very nice from one side to the other. As we come around the corner here, check it out. Massive wheels, massive, massive calipers. So I love the gloss black finish. This is a 22 inch wheel. Check out the size of that caliper with the Land Rover badge, bright red with the gloss black, with the gray, works perfect. Fully ventilated, huge pizza style rotors. This thing can fit the family, but it's also gonna perform well. As we go down the side, you do have the traditional uh, venting. Now this is, I am gonna zonk it, it's just for looks, but this is part of the Range Rover tradition. There are heat extractors up on the top of the hood. And what's nice is, is I like the way it says Range Rover stamped into it. As we continue down the side, very smart to black out the A pillar here. Really helps kind of keep the size when it comes to perspective, the way you're, you're perceiving it. Keeps the size a little bit tidy. Very nice black on the mirrors, LED turn singles, nice flat slope back roof style. I really think that that is like a trademark on the Range Rover. I, another nice part that I like is the lower sill area comes out just enough, gives it some distinctive body line to the side of the vehicle. And then as we work our way back, this right here screams Range Rover. You go back to those early generations, you have this large quarter window. I like the way they took the gloss black to just make it seem seamless from front to rear. And then to round out the rear, very nicely done roof spoiler. Now this thing is functional. You can see that there's actual slot for air to pass down. Very nice. And then traditional back setup. Once again, they have the emblems. I wish they would kind of sink those into the back hatch area, but you have your Land Rover badge, full LED lighting. There's the Sport HST. This is the top dog, most power that you're going to get. And then you have I'm gonna zonk it, that vacuum style exhaust outlet, and then what makes it even worse is that there's an exhaust pipe in that fake vacuum style vent out the back. But very clean, 
Very nice Screams Range Rover, Screams Land Rover all day long. Why don't we go ahead and pop the hood and see some of those surprises that I've been talking about. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, here we are underneath the hood of the 2019 Land Rover Range Rover Sport HST. I am gonna zonk it right off the bat. Don't like the black plastic, especially when it looks like it's made by Rubbermaid. I don't like that, but underneath there is a straight six, three liter straight six, inline six engine, turbocharged, made it to an eight speed automatic transmission. This one is the P400 version. So you have 395 horsepower, 406 foot pounds of torque, going through that eight speed automatic, reaching the ground through a sophisticated all wheel drive system. This vehicle weighs about 5,600 pounds, but here's the crazy thing. Zero to 60 in 5.9 seconds, top speed 140 miles an hour. So very, very impressive. The technology that they're getting, the power that they're getting, added this all new straight six turbocharged engine. Let's go ahead. We talked about it. We looked at the numbers. Let's go ahead and fire it up. All right, guys, we're inside the 2019 Range Rover Sport HST. If you're wondering, hey, Joe, this thing's new. What's the price on this? You're looking at an MSRP, the way it sits, around $93,000. Let's see what you get to the door panels. Now, the British definitely know upscale feel. I love the soft leather material all over the top portion of the door, the nice silver trim. You have that other uh, aluminum finish there, very nicely done. The armrest is very, very soft leather material, large speaker cover, small tweeter covers, really just hit the nail on the head for taking a door that could be just boring and giving it some pizzazz. I love the material where it says HST across the center portion here. You have your glove box there, you have another box there. So when you have a vehicle like this, you get to have two for tons of gloves. As we go into the center console infotainment area, this is nuts. I, I've never seen anything like this before. So you have a nice, large 12-inch uh, screen here, nice and wide. You got your navigation. It's all touch screen, of course. Um, you could go back home very, very quickly. But I do like the features on that. Very smooth, very nice leather, push button start, aluminum trim. The finishes are just crazy in here. As we come down, look at this AC system. Now this is just ridiculous. You have full touch screen down here, dual climate control. You can change up everywhere you wanna put just by touching the actual images. You wanna do vehicle stuff, you hit vehicle. You got all your different dynamics, eco mode, you have uh, dynamic mode, comfort, everything that you could want for when you need it. So comfort, obviously, you have, you could go into snow mode, off-road, grass this thing does it all because really that's where land rover cut its teeth is severe off-road conditions as we come down nice finish all over you got this sliding lid here two cup holders a little bit of a cubby coin tray here maybe you could put a couple skittles or something like that you slide it back i like the trim the land rover badge look at this alcantara on the actual shifter this is going to be controlling that eight speed automatic this I'm gonna zonk. I don't like the plastic finish on these buttons. I feel like they could have picked a different material, but you do have a plethora of buttons right here. Electric e-brake, and then center console, look at this. This is just ridiculous. So you have two USB, you got a micro SIM uh, port there, you got your 12 volt, all felt lined. This little lid here, drop that down, flip it around, nice leather, and then the seats. I gotta give it to the seats. Alcantara, love the leather love the perforated down the center the stitching i mean this is really high class level of fit finish and feel i'm six feet tall even with this panoramic sunroof no problem whatsoever for headroom and i feel very very comfortable now if you notice look what we got we have the armrest but then they also give you these extra captain chair things which you could tighten down and then have to place your arm there or you could just put it back I personally would probably just leave it back because I just, I'm ready to go. 
Speaking of going, why don't you come on over to the business end and I'll show you behind the wheel of this Range Rover. All right, guys, business end, behind the wheel. Let's see what we're working with. So lots of adjustability when it comes to full power seat. I love the aluminum trim down here. I would like these buttons to feel a little nicer. If you look at any German products, this is where it feels really nice. Doesn't feel so nice on this Range Rover. Steering wheel, if you like unique, this is all for you. It's thin and it has this extra trim and I'm a little worried what, how this silver trim is gonna bother me when we go for the drive, but it is Alcantara wrapped, nice leather horn button, and then you have the switches on the side, but just very unique, the style um, and the feel of them. You have the paddles behind the steering wheel to go up and down the gearbox at eight speed automatic, and then of course you have full digital instrumentation, something expected at this price point, um, very clear, very concise. When you go into like dynamic mode, let me hit dynamic mode real quick. When you go into dynamic mode, it actually changes, look at that. That's pretty cool, so I'm in comfort. Let me go over to dynamic here. Dynamic, you see how the gauges change a little bit? Um, the, the style, I can see, I like the way the Range Rover Sport pops up, pretty cool. Overall, very impressed with how I feel in here. Let's go ahead and see how are the passengers gonna feel in that back seat. All right guys, back seat time, and I'm telling you, the leather in here is as soft as a newborn baby's butt. I really like the leather that they use. They even brought the Alcantara back here for the passengers, so your passengers are not gonna get jealous that they don't have Alcantara. What is up with this? Hard plastic on the back of the seat. Really, this needs to be all wrapped in leather. I do like the way they brought the silver trim from the center console to the back command area. You do have your AC vents back here, the controls, and then of course, if you have passengers back here, you know that you're gonna wanna keep them happy and keep their stuff charged. So tons of different connectivity. This I can never understand. Can we stop making these plugs and just have a little door here? Because you know this is gonna get lost. Your kids are gonna lose it. So I guess that's the cubby for that, but We'll just keep that in there. Seats, they do recline. So you could go like this and you could drive down the road and feel uncomfortable. But seriously, you could recline it. Lots of head space, uh, headroom back here. Panoramic feels good. I got LED lighting, which is a nice little fancy touch. Let's talk about, whoa, look at this thing. Boom. Two cup holders. They got that brushed aluminum feel in there. Open that up. You could put some pretzels. You could put some... Uh, I don't know about Doritos, probably if you go Doritos, go with like smaller ones or something. Um, but you got a little tray, this will pop out if you want it to pop out. We don't want it to pop out because we'll probably lose it. But actually quite soft, just interesting how they designed this. Um, it's fascinating, but it works. And then you got like a little bumper up front for your elbow. You can go boom like that and put it back. Love the finishes. Let's go ahead and check out that back cargo area and see what we could put in the back of a Range Rover Sport. All right, guys, that back cargo time, very important for somebody who needs an SUV. Obviously, power assist lift. Look at all the stuff you get. You got a nice little uh, Land Rover bag. You know, you could go around and be like, what do you got? I got a Land Rover. No, but seriously, in here, this has got uh, a wheel cleaning kit. 22-inch wheels, you're going to need to keep them clean. Land Rover loves you. You bought one of their vehicles, they give you a nice little cleaning kit. We got all different sorts of weather-protected floor mats. Look at all the space though. With all the amount of stuff in here, you know that there's room back here. We, you could raise and lower, watch this. You could raise and lower the back of this thing. I don't know if you could catch that on film, Tom. Look at that, up she goes, up, up, up and away. And then if you wanna go down, you just hit the down button. Nice, that's what I'm talking about, right? Very nice setup. Back here you got power source. Now see, look, they gave you the 12 volt back here but they have a nice little flip lid. Why can't they do that in the middle row? I don't know what's up with that. But really nice, those seats are gonna do the 60-40 split, which is really uh, good for usability. And then of course you got a nice cargo mat and everything down there, nicely set up. And then when you're done, you just hit that button, down she goes, and you're ready to go to the next soccer game. But why don't we go ahead and take this for a spin and see if we can find a local baseball game or soccer game to go visit. Let's go take it for a spin. All right, guys, we just left Dimmit Range Rover here in Clearwater, Florida. We're in the 2019 Range Rover Sport. 
like I was showing you earlier, it's incredible the layout in here. I love everywhere you look, there's just all these nice finishes that just really raise the bar in this segment of the SUV um, car industry. And if you want something that is gonna have that special British feel, this is what it's all about. And it's crazy to think that Range Rover, that first Range Rover rolling off the assembly line all the way back in 1970, Boy, have we have come a long way when it comes to how the SUV is looked at, how it's used, and especially the performance from uh, Range Rovers, especially this one. Real great visibility out the front. I'm actually really impressed with the size of the windshield. Let me go ahead and get on the throttle here. Pulling away. I'm telling you, the shifts very quick. I like the overall feel of how this car transfers the power to the ground. And what's nice is, is that you get off the throttle and you're not feeling a lot of engine braking or anything like that. It's nice, it just, it's nice and smooth and it transitions very linear. Dash, so crystal clear, love the font, love the colors. And I really think it's so smart how more and more manufacturers are moving to where the navigation is smack dab in the center of the other instrumentation that's there. It really allows you to focus where you need to be going and that's that's out the front windshield. Over here, when it comes to the center console infotainment section area, they've really brought that bar way up and I think a lot of car companies are now gonna be chasing after uh, Range Rover with this setup, AC controls and everything else the way that it's laid out in the car. But really just like the overall feel of how this sport drives doesn't feel too big it feels almost just spot right perfect seats the bottom portion is a little on the firmer side but you know what i do like the back portion especially with the side bolstering it it allows you to kind of have a little bit of wiggle wiggle room so that you're comfortable but this thing once you start going and especially if you have a twisty road around your neck of the woods it's going to hold you into place a lot nicer than a lot of its competitors um, at this price point. But just very smooth. Of course, it's gonna be so quiet in here with all the great sound ending that Range Rover uses. And just like a lot of the other um, cars that are offered at the different Dimmit locations that we visited, this, you're driving tradition, you're driving a heritage that goes all the way back to that first generation, all the way back to 1970. Remember, first generation of Range Rover was 1970 to 1994. And now here we are in the brand new 2019 Range Rover Sport. What can I say? I mean, I just love how this car drives. Steering wheel, so unique. It's got the Alcantara on it. I like the way it feels. The thickness is nice. And you would think that maybe that the silver trim would be a little uncomfortable. It's really not. Changing lanes is real simple. You get on the throttle, she pulls away very nicely. This really gives you such a versatile driving experience. You got great room back there for your passengers like we showed you earlier. And then you have all the space in the back as well, um, cargo wise. I think for me, you know how I've been talking about how I like to drive. A lot of times I like to take my left elbow and rested on the top of the door panel. I think Range Rover was thinking about me when they made this door panel because of just how wide it is and how it kind of slopes down to give you just the perfect resting area for your arm. So I think that was really well done by the engineers. And you can see that interior space has been optimized perfectly in this 2019 Range Rover. All right, guys, I went ahead, we put it into dynamic mode. I'm gonna go ahead and get on that throttle. On the brakes, into this right-hand turn here. On throttle again, rolling away, drops down, she goes. You're definitely gonna feel the sensation, the acceleration much different in dynamic than in the standard mode. And that's what's great about these types of vehicles, especially from Range Rover, is when you adjust that uh, setting, you get the full benefit of a lot more performance. Not just a little bit, it's a lot more performance and just overall feel. And that's what's really great. So I'll go ahead and slow down a little bit just to show you the acceleration again between the two. So we're doing a slow roll at 20, 
get on the throttle, drops down, it just goes. So very nice to see Range Rover have the versatility to give you different driving modes to increase that whole driving pleasure of what do you want. That's the great news. If you want to turn up the wick, you can with this Range Rover Sport. Brakes feel great. I like the way that the modulation on the uh, the brake pedal is they're not very grabby, which is nice because sometimes with certain uh, models, you get on the brake pedal and they kind of, it grabs it right from the bottom of your foot. Not so much with this Range Rover Sport. Let me go ahead and see how she handles in this right hand bend over here. So on throttle, on brakes, doing our braking straight line, tip it in, on throttle again, drops down and we're off. I think the performance of this Range Rover Sport is definitely going to surprise you and that's why you need to get down to Dimmit Range Rover and take one of these for a spin. Uh, I think from the outside to the inside and everything in between, they really hit the nail on the head and I'm very excited to see where Range Rover is going to be taking their whole lineup of products. But we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up and we'll see you back at Dimmit Range Rover in a split second. All right, guys, it's been a wonderful day here at Dimmit Land Rover. Definitely got to give a huge shout out and a thank you to Phil, Philip, and everybody here at the dealership. If these are the types of vehicles that you like to see, these brand new Range Rover Sports, put a comment in that comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content, get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Click the link in the description, it takes you right to the Spreadshirt. We got to give it up to Big Guns McGee, Tom Moshner, working the camera. He's loving this Range Rover. He's loving his protein even more. So thank you, Tom, for all your hard work. Check him out on Instagram, at Photos. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.